So I'm, I'm Georgia Pronerite and I run a small uh, research team here in the immunology group. The immune system is our major defence to infection, it's a critical defence. If we didn't have it, all of the minor colds and minor bugs that we get would become life-threatening. So we have this incredible defence system, but like any defence system, um, the, uh, there are some quite dangerous weapons involved. Any active battle causes a lot of collateral damage. The problem when we have an infection is that that collateral damage hurts us, damages our tissue. And so uh, it's essential in any uh, immune response that it's strong enough, but not too strong strong, strong enough to kill the bug, but not so strong that it will kill you too. And so what I'm really interested in is, is defining that system of checks and balances that keeps the immune system exactly in control. And the hope is that, that by understanding those decision processes, we'll be able to, to override them, take control of the immune system and, and manipulate it in a way that's, that's helpful in the clinic. I'd say like right now is a really exciting time to be an immunologist. Like just recently, um, the, there's a new wave of drugs that target the immune system and they're coming into use in autoimmunity and in cancer. And I'd really like to see those used in, in infection too. And it matters particularly in the background of um, uh, antibiotic resistance or the fact that we're looking at the end of being able to use antibiotics and so there are two solutions to that either we need to discover new antibiotics to disable the bacteria or we need to learn how to enhance the immune system so it can defeat even a bacteria that, that hasn't been disabled and so potentially my research could help us understand how to better use the immune system and, and use it in, in, to defeat infection also like immunotherapies are, are this new class of drug and so if we can think of, of ways to, to boost the immune response, like provide particular on signals or even off signals that would mean it works in a much more targeted way. That would be fantastic. But you can also apply it quite broadly. So the whole idea of vaccines is priming the immune system or enhancing the immune system. So often when I'm writing grants, I'm making the argument that um, understanding those checks and balances can lead to better vaccine strategies, more rational vaccine strategies. I uh, moved here from Canada last year. I was recruited from UBC in Vancouver. And one of the main things that attracted me was the sense of momentum. Like it's quite rare to find uh, a place that has such good infection biologists as well as such good immunologists. So studying both sides of that interaction. And so there's a great synergy here. It means that we can achieve much more than we could with, with either one of those specialities.